If you don't like delicious foods dipped in copious amounts of ranch, then I highly suggest you not watch this video. Otherwise, please come on in, join me for this subscriber sponsored request, and that is a ranchathon. These are just the vessel for the main event, and that is none other than ranch dressing. Let's get it. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. All right, y'all. So my home slice Jackie hit me with this a few days back. Hi, hoodie. I just sent 30 to your account. Let me know if this covers my ranchathon. Ranchathon. <laughs> I like the way she did that. So I've been challenged to a ranchathon. Two store bought ranch dressings of your choice, one homemade from scratch, no powdered mixes. And your foods to dip are as follows Pizza Hut. <laughs> you know I'm gonna like that. Naked crunchy wings. Now, I don't know what she means if she means naked and like battered crunchy or naked naked crunchy. I definitely know she means no sauce so we can dip in the ranch and get crunchy with it. So I'm gonna do two of one of each. And then raw veggies of my choice. So those will be a surprise. Cherry Coke or Pepsi is my drink. I choose. Take me for a ride on the ranch, hoodie. <laughs> Have a great day, Jackie. Okay, this is amazing. Let's get to this. Thank you so much, Jackie. All right, guys. Jackie's wish is simply my command. She said no powdered mixes, homemade ranch. So what we're going to do is buttermilk this much, maybe two cups. Then a nice sour cream, maybe a cup, a cup of mayo, equal parts that. And we're just going to go ahead and spin up the base of this real quick. Get this work together. Try to figure out a nice consistency here. I think this is going to be more of a runny ranch. Okay, so we got that nice and silky smooth together. And then from here, it's as easy as just seasoning it. All right, first things first, I got a bunch of dried chives in. Next, we have dill weed. I couldn't get fresh dill this time of year where I'm at. So I just went and got some dill weed, put a nice amount of that in there. I'm gonna go heavy on these greens for this. Next up, parsley flakes. Add a little freshness in there, boom. After that, onion powder. Let's go, baby. How much are we going? Quite a bit, boom, that's a nice amount. That's good. Next, garlic powder. Nice amount and celery seed should be enough okay a squirt of lemon a dash of white wine vinegar just to brighten things up of course to make everything pop a pinch of salt so i'm just going to go in with something like that to start and then of course a gang of fresh cracked pepper All right, now we mix in. Incorporate, Ranch Incorporated. Looking delicious. And just to thicken it up, I think I might add a little more mayo, a little more sour cream, just cause it is a little thin for my liking, I'd say. All right, that's a bit thicker. Gotta do a little taste test to see where we're at. Mm. That's incredibly balanced, wow. If anything, just the tiniest squeeze of lemon. Just for a little more brightness. All right, so next up she said a veggie plate of my choosing. So since we're having wings, it's definitely gonna be celery sticks. I don't know what you guys, I'm a weirdo. I love these pre-bagged celeries. They're just so convenient and so much like easier to deal with. And I feel like the celery in them is usually better than the ones that are left out getting spritzed in the bath on the shelf but I always just take the ends off just because they're kind of rugged and ragged and raw and then for me I just love to half them and then just like I love matchstick thin like very thin to dip very thin celery 
if I ever open any sort of a food spot with wings, 100% each plate of wings is getting like a nice load of matchstick celery. Cause I don't know, it's just such a nice, I don't like when the celery is like too big and wide and weird and I just love them small and uniform each bite just like a nice little crispy little hit of refreshment on the palate with that ranch right that's the point with the buffalo wings now these aren't going to be buffalo but still you know what i mean just in my opinion nice little fairly uniform strips so onto thy plate mise en place right so I just got these Campari tomatoes. They are bigger than a grape tomato, but you know, still bite size ish, but they're going to be like aggressively bite size ish. Like when you dip them and bite into them, they're going to juice everywhere. But that's the point of this video. Like I want it to be dip it in ranch and have it like bite and just juice and be like so crave worthy. So I definitely want it to be dipping tomatoes, celery, and then one last part here. And that, my friends, is the cauliflower. I love cauliflower for dipping ranch. It's just, I don't know why, it's just always been such a favorite of mine. Uh, growing up as a kid, every time we were out at, uh, I don't know, like a birthday party or out at like the lake or whatever, in the summertime, people would bring a uh, veggies and dip tray. And I would always dominate, absolutely dominate. The cauliflower in the ranch and I like to cut it into very manageable bites still substantial not too small not too crumbly but definitely like a nice manageable perfect substantial bite so here we have it a perfect little veggies and dip tray that's my favorite probably my favorite three to be dipping in ranch all right, so next up was Naked Crispy Crunchy Wings. Now, I could have ordered these from Pizza Hut with the pizza, but I say a nay-nay to that because I myself know for myself that I can make better wings at home than any pizza joint ever could. And that's just the true fact of the nature of the situation. <laughs> okay? Okay, oil in a pan, flame on high. All right, so I know that naked means no sauce. And by the crispy crunchy, I don't know if she meant some batter or just straight up skin, but either way, we're gonna do both. So in this, we have mostly flour, a little bit of cornstarch as well. Half of these wings, all flats, by the way, just go in and give them a nice coat. Wish I had some gloves for this, honestly. I would definitely take gloves to this situation and pack it right in, but these tongs will have to do. Now, I know a lot of you are probably tripping being like, don't you need egg or buttermilk or something to make that coating to adhere? No, not necessarily. The wings usually have enough moisture on them just as is how they are to get something to stick. Now, it all depends on how thick you want your coating. I personally want a very thin crispy coat. So that's why I'm doing it this way. If I wanted a thicker, kind of breading coating, I would definitely go with buttermilk or egg, but in this case, just the moisture from the wings packed on, these will come out nice and thin and crispy. So that's the point for these. Okay, so this oil is getting shimmery and dancy. We pop the wooden object in it, then we got the bubble. So once it's bubbling, we drop that down to medium from high, let it kick it for a couple minutes, and then we'll go in with the wings. Okay, it's time to go in with the completely naked ones first, right? There you go, completely naked. Woo-wee! <laughs> Bobbling up, okay. So we got half of those in the back there. And now we come in with the coated, perfect. So we're gonna let these go 
for about, I don't know, we'll see. I'm just gonna monitor and gauge them, but I'm thinking eight minutes or so, 10 minutes, eight, 10 minutes. All right, we about five minutes into this. Want some nice goldies coming along. I'm gonna give them a little flip, a little rotate. It's very interesting. Uh, I used to make wings at my old job, like how I'm trying to do now with the cornstarch with the simple dredge. And they used to come out different than this. For some reason, the uh, that batter just really did come right off. So I don't know, that's weird. I used to make them like that all the time and they used to come out with this nice crispy coating, but it seems that they are uh, back to naked. So I screwed that up, but oh well, these are still gonna be good regardless. I'm gonna let them go a little bit longer. We'll probably take it to closer to 15 because I want a nice deep brown golden crunch on these guys. A thing of beauty these are, I tell you. Hmm? Couple minutes more and they should be good. All right, get these guys out of the oil, strained off. It may seem I got beat at my own game, so well done, wings. One point for you, at least on the uh, starchy, floury ones. I think maybe the real reason was is because I used to do it with just cornstarch, so maybe because I had the flour in there too, that is what made that happen, because I used to do just cornstarch, naked wings, but uh, anyways, we're just going to salt these and toss and that's it because it's a ranchathon and that's really the flavor that we need on these is the ranch. Okay, now since this is a ranchathon and I'm OCD about getting my ranch bowl set up, my dipping bowls, uh, let's go ahead and get that set and show you the two contenders from the store that I bought. So we have President's Choice, an amazing company here. Ranch, never tried it before. And then also the Keg, Steakhouse and Bar Ranch. I've heard good things, I've never had it. So those are those guys. And then we're gonna have to go in with the homemade, of course, which I personally think will reign supreme. And I think there's gonna be such a different level of like freshness in the flavor because I feel like these just have, whatever the, the oils in these are, are always kind of, I don't know, they give off a certain certain flavor because it's it's like it's preserving them, right? Like look how thick these are. They're so thick. Now, you guys know I love Hidden Valley. I have Hidden Valley in the fridge, but in this instance, I figured we gotta change it entirely up with the ranch game, you know what I mean? So, okay, and our homemade VV Herbaceous. Consistency is actually not too bad, not too runny, but not too thick. I like that. I kind of like when the ranch is a bit runnier. You guys know this about me. So I think this will suit us well, but it does look mighty fresh, mighty fine. If I, I do say so on myself. Okay, these guys to the fridge until this pizza shows. All right, y'all, everything's prepped and ready. Now the reveal of the za. Pizza's here, one of the main event components let's get to her mukbangers pro slide mukbangers pro slide maybe move these ranchies out a little bit here come on baby get in there it's hard to get everything on here you can make it if you really want but you must try try and try try and try and you succeed at last all right yo what up welcome to today's video the pie has landed my favorite delivery guy just hit me up we'll talk about that maybe in a second but for now we are recognizing the ranch so president's choice and the keg we're gonna get those out of here i have never even indulged in either of these because i love hidden valley that's just a fact now before we go any further massive shout out to jackie and we're just going to keep it to first names i don't know how people feel about releasing their whole entire names or whatever. So I'm just gonna say Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. This one's for you and for everybody else. And for me, you clearly know my taste buds. And that's because Jackie has been here for quite some time. I've seen her around and she's actually been very generous before in the PayPal. I think she's just hit me up with some, you know, a little Christmas cheer here or a sponsor there for other things. I I've definitely seen her in my inbox before. I recognize the name. I'm not sure that she goes um, incognito in the comments though. I really don't know. There's a bunch of people who have been requesting and I know exactly who you are. 
the real ones I see in the comments all the time, the people who comment all the time. And you guys, I have a, they used to call me the human phone book in high school. I have a memory like no other for names, faces, uh, numbers, comments, things like that. Like I know exactly who's who, who's real ones, who follows me on Instagram, who I follow on Instagram, who are in my comments, things like that. Like I know, I know personally who a lot of you are, right? Over the years, I have kept tabs. So I definitely know, but this one's for Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. Much appreciated. And I hope you appreciate how I brought this together. I hope you appreciate my vegetable choices. And my crispy level wings. They are sounding very, very crisp. But you guys know, when I get my pie, I gotta get it in ranch ASAP. So, what did I get? I got the deal of the day. And it's my life hack. This is a pepperoni and cheese side, and the other side is supreme, and I'll explain why that is. But first up, off to the side, we have our ranches. This is the homemade ranch, and that's what I want to start with. I am very much most intrigued to try that home dip, right? That's what we came for, that homemade ranch. Jackie heavily stressed. No packages, no mixes, all homemade. And you guys, I've never, ever, ever tried a homemade ranch on a on a, my favorite pie. So here we go. Oh man. Yo. Wow. That's crazy now. <laughs> wow, it's so fresh. And it doesn't have Like I was saying when I was pouring these ranches, the the bottle ones, it doesn't have that preservative, like oily type vibe. It just has that fresh. Mm. Super clean, lemony. Just herbaceous. Mm. Beautiful flavor. Okay. So we cycle out this ranch. I don't have like enough room on this table really. So I'm gonna try one of these pieces with these two. So this one is the keg. It's definitely more congealed seeming. Seems like a creamy garlic dip almost from like a pizza place. Almost like pizza pizza styles. Let's try this. So different than the homemade. That's got a lot of tang. A lot of tang. Okay, here we go. President's Choice. President's Choice has great products. Let's see how this one sticks. Also pretty uh, thick and congealy. Okay. Whoa. That's extremely different. Wow. 
once again, like the keg, has like a, a pretty crazy like tang to it almost. Like a sour vibe, but it almost has like a, a cheesier flavor. Is the best way I can describe it. Okay, palate cleanser. Like I was saying though, my, uh, let's make a little ranch dip room up here. But like I was saying, my uh, fave delivery guy was just at the door. And he's the dude who I was super hung over one day and all I really wanted <laughs> was the pop, was the Pepsi. I ordered a bottle of Pepsi with a pizza and he forgot my bottle of Pepsi. And he's like, I'll just run back to the store for you, no worries. And so I still tipped him five bucks and he was like hella surprised by that. He's like, most people would have just been mad at me or been an asshole and not tipped. And I was like, no worries, man. I know what it's like. working in the service industry. We all make mistakes. So he ran back. Got my bottle of Pepsi. We had a chat ever since then. We've had a bond. And he has a secret knock. He goes, do, 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 do. <laughs> so I know that it's him. <laughs> okay, so these are the Krispies, right? Gotta bring them up close to the microphone. Beautiful Krispies. This is the homemade. We're gonna always go homemade first. Keg second. Pretzel third. So on the wings. It's delicious. I can definitely say that. We'll bring in the keg. When I said I can make better wings at home, I'm not lying. These are much better than really any pizza place could provide me. Mm. So right off the bat, As compared to the homemade, the keg is better on the wings. I like the homemade on the pizza more, but the keg is definitely better on the wings. I don't know why that is. I do like the viscosity. Of this dip. With the wings. I think that's definitely playing a factor. But we have to cycle out and bring El Presidente for a wing. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah, I don't know about this one. There's something about it. That isn't sitting right. It's the level of like sourness. It's just hitting strange on my palate and it's making me miss Hidden Valley. <laughs> also, just so you know, Jackie, Cherry Coke, almost virtually impossible to find where I'm at. Um, pretty much don't sell it anywhere except for a few chain restaurants have it. Um, Arby's and I think Burger King and I almost went to Lank's to go to Burger King or Arby's and get just a cup of it, but I was a little pressed for time. Okay, well, you guys know that veggies were part of the shootout too. I don't even know if this is a shootout or just a, a ranch appreciation day, but like I said, cauliflower, juicy tomato, celery is what's up for me when it comes to the the veggies and dip game. So this right here is giving me sauce queen vibes. She is the queen of sauce, but the queen of veggies and dip, I swear. She's always ripping super saucy veggies and dip. That's bomb. That's so bomb. Which that reminds me, I think today is supposed to be Old Saucy Queen's triumphant re return to YouTube. I think she's had her and Big Daddy are now in Tennessee. And she's going to be uploading, I think, like a funny drunk one today on Thursday. So I got to keep my eyes peeled for that. I'm excited to see that video and how she's been doing. She was going through some rough, tumultuous times. So shout out to you, Kristen. I see you and I hope to see you back in good fun spirits. I've made an executive decision as well. I'm vetoing the president's choice. It's just not for me. So I will be operating solely between the homemade and the keg. That's what we're going to do. Okay. So I told you on this half was Supreme. So what's Supreme? Supreme is pepperoni, ground beef, sausage, green pepper, red onion, and I think that's it. And uh, this is basically a life hack. Pizza Hut is expensive if you order, not like a deal. So they have deals of the day, which are $10.99. And today on Thursday is Supreme. Now I don't mind Supreme toppings. I like everything that's on here. Oh, there's bacon as well. but I love at least four pieces of pepperoni and cheese, just straight up. So what I do is, if the deal of the day isn't quite hitting right across the board, I just, when I'm configuring the pie, I just move 
toppings to the right. I don't just do the deal of the day on the right. And the left side is just pepperoni and cheese. So that way you get a cheap pizza. All said and done, like $16 instead of like 30 And you insure yourself half a pie of plain pepper cheese. And that to me is called shopping smart and frugal. All right, I have a, uh, a final thought here for the ranches. The president's choice we already know it's a no bueno. It's a no fly zone. I don't like it. I wouldn't buy it again which is so surprising to me because President's Choice products normally just slap. The homemade bomb. Very good. But it's better on the pizza than the wings. Also, ideally, I would have made it three days ago. Let it sit, let it marry, let it get crazy good together. And then eat it. Now the keg ranch. Delicious. I'm loving it. It's best on the wings. It's also good on the pizza, though. That all being said, the valley, still my favorite. <laughs> How many of you knew that was coming? I honestly thought today's the day I get converted by the homemade. Close, but no cigar. However, like I said, if it sat for a few days, like I might have that batch batched out. I might try this in a few days time and be like, damn, that's really what's up. Pepsi always gets a standing ovation. Just love it have a tomato in this more thick style ranch. I know that grosses some people right out and some people are just like, oh, I would love to have that in my mouth right now. I love that. When that tomato juice mixes with that creaminess of that dip it's such a flavor explosion cauliflower in it and let me let me know you guys like i was telling you i used to 
I was a kid, always at like pool parties or swimming out at the lake or whatever, family members, whoever, they would bring uh, veggies and dip platters. And without fail, on veggie and dip platters, there's always favorites. And there's always the one thing left behind. In my experience, I think that was usually carrots or broccoli. Although I love broccoli in a dip as well. But... There's something about swimming pools and swimming in the afternoon. You get so hungry. You come out of the pool and you're just ravenous. And I used to sit down in one of those like plastic chairs, those white plastic chairs that would snap if you lean back in them <laughs> or if you're just heavy. <laughs> I would get in one of those guys, my little runt body when I was like, you know, 10 and just dip constant cauliflower dips and just mash the whole, you know how they come in like segments? I would just smash the segment. And that's why the crunch, I'm such a sucker for the way that cauliflower crunches. And then it just, it's so compartmentalized once it starts going. It's so crumbly where it almost tastes like nothing, right? It's like a blank canvas. But it was my favorite, always. Anyhow, I'm full up. That was a nice ranchathon shootout. Once again, thanks to Jackie. I'm gonna end this with one more bite. And call it there. Cause I am definitely ranched out and satisfied, so. Really appreciate the, uh, the request. I hope you enjoyed it. Until the next one, y'all know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true. Cheers. Stay healthy, stay safe. It's a crazy world out there right now.